With his ability to read minds, Alex had become rich and he can have any woman he want, but he fell in love with Mia, who he saw for the first time. But what are Mia's sinister intentions and goals for meeting Alex? And was she able to meet those goals? Let's start the story from the beginning. Alex was just another 25-year-old office worker, his life as monotonous as the ticking of the clock on the office wall. But everything changed one unexpected Monday when, amidst the cacophony of ringing phones and clacking keyboards, Alex discovered he could hear more than just surface noise, he could hear thoughts. Initially terrified, Alex quickly became intrigued by his newfound ability. He started cautiously, using his power to navigate the treacherous waters of office politics and daily life with newfound ease. It wasn't long before Alex's career took a turn for the spectacular. Using his ability to sense the ebb and flow of people's true opinions, he became an invaluable asset at work, climbing the corporate ladder with an uncanny knack for being at the right place at the right time. But Alex's ambition soared beyond the confines of office walls. He turned his attention to the stock market, where the thoughts of nervous investors and overconfident CEOs became his guide. Success followed, and wealth accumulated. Though Alex started to enjoy his success and wealth, he spent some resources on charity events from time to time to make himself look good. The true twist came when Alex met Mia, a volunteer at one of his charity events. Mia was unlike anyone Alex had ever met, kind, earnest, and with a mind as open and inviting as her smile. To Alex's surprise, he couldn't read Mia's thoughts as easily as he could others. Instead, Mia shared her thoughts and feelings openly, without reservation, teaching Alex that the most profound connections come from mutual trust and communication, not from the abilities that set us apart. Alex starts to be entranced by Mia and feels captivated by her words and beauty. He starts thinking about her all the time and finds a chance to meet her daily. He even organizes few extra charity events just to be more closer to her. After getting closer to her for a few days, he even shares his biggest secret of being able to hear others' thoughts to her. Mia seems to be surprised at first but accepts and supports him wholeheartedly. But she says that she has a great cause and mission and she cannot be by his side and love him till her mission gets completed. Thinking that she is referring to the charity events and missions he agrees and promises to be by her side and support her throughout the way. Mia happily agrees and says that she has to leave for another country tomorrow, but she will contact him again whenever she can. That was the last time Alex saw Mia. When he tried to contact her, her mobile is always unavailable. In spite of his wealth and abilities, he still seems to be unable to locate Mia. What Alex does not know at this time is that he is not the only person with superhuman abilities. Mia also has a superhuman ability. She can make others fall in love with her. When she actively tries to influence someone, they will immediately think of Mia as the love of their life and will dedicate their everything to her and obeys all of her orders. Using this ability, Mia had already made several wealthy and influential people into her puppets. When she heard about Alex as a wealthy and successful person, she decided to trap Alex the same way. But she comes to know that her powers are not working on Alex immediately. Although Alex is slightly charmed by her, it was negligible compared to the abilities of her power. However, noticing that Alex slowly starts liking her, she too continues to influence him in order to fully make Alex her puppet. It was only when Alex confessed his biggest secret about his superpowers that she understood that since both Alex and her abilities are related to mine, they seem to not as working as effectively on each other. Mia considers herself as lucky since Alex can't hear her thoughts. Considering the risk of exposing her secret if she stayed long with Alex, she makes an excuse and leaves him. Months passed since Mia's departure and Alex's life, once filled with ambition and success, now felt hollow. But in his meetings with other influential people and reading their minds, 
he is able to gather bits and pieces of anomalies and some clues about Mia. After actively investigating by using his powers, he is able to piece together a shocking truth that they were all being influenced by a strong external factor and they were all madly following a single person in their minds and that was Mia. Although shocked, Alex uses these new clues to finally track and meet with Mia. Alex confronts Mia and asks if she had really made him into her puppet and if he is nothing but a tool to her. Mia, who was initially surprised to see Alex, confesses that all the other people surrounding her had only loved her because of her abilities and only Alex had loved her for truly who she was. So when Mia found out about him loving her in spite of the ability, she was truly happy. But Mia was afraid that Alex will find out about her ability and her initial plan to make him into puppet, so she had left him. Instead of seeking revenge, Alex offers understanding and a chance for redemption. Mia, taken aback by Alex's compassion and strength, finds herself questioning her own path and the loneliness of her manipulative existence. In the end, Mia decides to step away from her life of manipulation. Inspired by Alex's love, she seeks a new beginning, one grounded in genuine connections and the search for redemption.